Hello and good day everyone. This is Group 3 and we're here to discuss about Hmm, does anyone here is familiar with a geological time scale? Okay, but first, let us discuss the meaning of geological time scale. Hmm, what is geological time scale? The logical time scale is used to describe the timing and relationships of events that have occurred during Earth's history. The geological time scale is organized in five subgroups eons, eras, periods, epochs, and ages. Eons are the largest duration of time ranging from a half billion to nearly two billion years. And the earliest eon is known as the Hadean, named after the Greek underworld Hades, Hadean came up to its name, began at 4.6 billion to 4 billion years ago. It is characterized by Earth's initial formation from the accretion of dust and gases and the frequent collision of larger planetesimals and by the stabilization of its core and crust and the development of its atmosphere and oceans. Throughout part of the Erion, impacts from extraterrestrial bodies release enormous amounts of heat that likely prevented much of the rock from solidifying at the surface. Next is Archean Eon, began from 4 billion to 2.5 billion years long. Records of Earth's primitive atmosphere and ocean emerged in the earliest Archean. During the Archean Eon, there was no oxygen or gas on Earth living cells that did not need oxygen to live. Instead, they made energy out of sulfur and other elements. 2.7 billion years ago, cyanobacteria flourished in Earth's ocean. They made gases or free oxygen from carbon dioxide, water, and sunlight. The process called photosynthesis. Proterozoic eon began 2.5 billion to 541 million years ago. It's a geological eon representing the time just before the proliferation of complex life on Earth. The well identified events of this eon were the transition to an oxygenated atmosphere during the Mesoproterozoic. Several glaciations, including the hypothesized snowball earth during the Cyrogenian period in the late Nep Neoproterozoic and the Etikaran period, which is characterized by the evolution of abundant soft bodied multicellular organisms. And the last one is Panerozoic Eon, ranging 541 million years ago to present. The Panerozoic Eon, or the Eon of Visible Life, is divided into three major spans of time. The Paleozoic, Mesozoic, and Cenozoic Era. Okay now, from here, let's explain the Panerozoic Eon through its era. The next level down in the divisions of time, Paleozoic Era began 541 million years ago with the Cambrian explosion, an extraordinary diversification of marine animals and ended on called the end Permian extinction, the greatest extinction event in the Earth history. The major divisions of the Paleozoic era from oldest to youngest are the Cambrian or division, Silurian, Devonian or development of fishes, and last is the Permian period. Mesozoic Era It began 252.2 million years to 66 million years ago, second of Earth's three major geologic eras of Phanerozoic time. Its name is derived from the Greek term for middle life. The major divisions of the Mesozoic Era are from oldest to youngest, the Triassic period, the Jurassic period, and the Cretaceous period. The ancestors of major plant and animal groups that exist today first appeared during the Mesozoic but this era is best known as the time of the dinosaurs. Cenozoic Era It is the third of the major eras of Earth's history, beginning about 66 million years ago and extending to the present. It was the interval of time during which the continents assumed their modern configuration and geographic positions and during which Earth's flora and fauna evolved toward those of the present. So that's it, the geological time scale. I hope you guys learned something for today and thank you for watching.